I want to give a message to the international media also and the international community that today's action, arrest, not uh, sorry, abduction of Fuad Chaudhary in the early hours of the morning today shows very clearly the intention of the state of Pakistan and its imported government that they want an end to democracy here. They want to arrest the most popular leader. They tried to assassinate him, uh, Imran Khan. They did not succeed, thanks to Allah. Then now they're trying to disqualify him. That is not working. Now they want to arrest him. That hasn't worked. So they're going after the most vocal leadership of PTI that stands behind Imran Khan. And that is why Fuad Chaudhary has been arrested today, simply because the fragile egos of the state and its uh, nominees and the election commission cannot withstand simple political rhetoric where Fuad Chaudhary called them clerks. Why a clerk should be a sign of disrespect? Because the clerks run the bureaucracy in this country is amazing. But more than that, if the election commission has such a fragile ego, why the hell don't they sue Fuad Chaudhary for civil defamation? Why charge him with terrorism? Is this an act of terrorism to call somebody a clerk? Is this an act of terrorism to uh, question the credibility of the election commission? And the election commission and this government is now using fascist tactics. They have not only just uh, abducted Fuad Chaudhary, they have now abducted his brother also from Jhelum. So, human right violation. And they are going against all human rights, yes. even at the very basic level. Democracy doesn't exist. Today there is fear in this country, there is a sham democracy, and there is total fascism, which is why we are calling on the Chief Justice of Pakistan, our honorable and respectful Chief Justice of Pakistan. It is about time that he take notice of the continuing and growing violations of the law and the constitution in this country and they should have the courage to stand up and end this abuse of the law and the constitution of this country. And I'm also calling on the president of Pakistan that he is the president and it is his responsibility to ensure the safety and security of all citizens and to ensure that rule of law and the constitution are not violated by anyone. No one should be regarded as above the law. Not those in uniform, not those wearing civil clothes, but being uh, basically puppets to fascism. Thank you.